And they, this is a well-known game. There's going to be no surprises. It's just going to come down to who executes better in this ball game. Now, True Boy's been known to bring blitzes on defense. We haven't seen him bring them as much as he normally has in past tournaments. Do you think he'll bring that out tonight? He's going to need to because he doesn't have the horses on his defense that he's used to having, uh, especially up in that front area. They're not going to get organic pressure. They're not going to get block sheds on their own. So he's going to have to find a way to utilize that. His opponent in the first game, Trey, ran the ball quite a bit, and then he also had the jumbo, which is pretty good at picking up pressure if you're solid. All right, well, Stevie J wastes no time in yeah. moving. You know, moving down the field with the ground. You said it, right? Stevie J in those uh, Jags uniforms on the offensive side of the ball. He's trying to uh, go to this gun bunch or the gun tight, mix it up, find a way to attack True Boy right up the middle where he's weakest and stay away from the corner, stay away from the secondary where the pressure is. Look at True Boy, though, up in the gap on the, on the right side of the center right there, trying to bring pressure. All right, not only was he able to bring pressure, he was able to get that stop in the backfield, which now makes it third and two. Yeah, that's Mark Barron. He should be on every salary cap team in America. When I run for office someday, Rico, that's going to be the platform that I go by. I need a Mark Barron on every salary cap lineup that there is. That guy, along with Anthony Barr, makes so many plays. All right, well, let's see if he can make a play here for True Boy as he's looking to get this stop here. All right, to give, he heads through the middle. Oh, picks up the first down and about five more. Yeah, and Stevie J, he knows that's how you want to attack the defense True Boy is running right now. He feels good about it. If he can run off that right side, and that time he motioned a blocker so he could pick up the pressure off the left so he didn't get tackled before he got to the line of scrimmage, and he did it, and he moved the chains. All right, he's in here in a strong set. Oh, cuts back again. Looking to try to find a hole. Makes up a few yards. Pick up a three. Rico, when you used to play, did you like to script plays on offense? Did you have a formation you knew you wanted to start in? Did it change from game to game? Did it, you know, if you, if you don't know the guy you're playing? Absolutely. I wanted to establish the run early. If you couldn't stop something, I was going to give you a heavy dose of it. So I literally would run the ball until you held me to under four yards on a run. Gotcha. So you keep pounding it until they prove they can stop the run. Absolutely. All right, shotgun. He drops back. Here comes some pressure. He gets it out. But he moves that. Do you see the look on Stevie J's face? That blitz came in a lot faster than he was prepared for. Yeah, it came, not just one guy came in, two guys came in, and one guy came in clean, not even off the edge. That was ferocious from True Boy. He barely had time to throw the ball away. He threw it away as fast as he possibly could. Really good read from Stevie to get rid of it so quickly. All right, dropping back, looking for a receiver. He has nobody open, but he's able to run with the ball and picks up the first down and two additional. Smart play, got out of bounds. His defender was looking. I thought his defender on the right side of the screen was going to block shed maybe, but just couldn't get off the block. Edge was there. Aaron Rodgers, just enough speed, and that's why he's such a popular quarterback. He brings that extra element. Look at, look at True Boy up in the center of uh, the defense. His defender hooks him up right there, Mark Barron with a tackle. But you see him with that buck slant. Pressure coming left. He's using his lineman up, saying, hey, center, look at me. I'm standing right in front of you. What are you going to do about it? Huh? You chicken? And, and that's what's uh, causing the pressure. But Stevie knows that. Stevie knows that. Oh, and he was right there on top of that. It's a good thing Stevie J's receiver broke that up. That could have been a pick six. That could have been. Often players like to throw to where the blitz pressure is coming from. In that case, true boy had a flat zone behind it, nearly a disaster for Stevie. All right here, here we go, third and nine, ball on the 48 yard line. Stevie J needs to pick up a first. He throws it, oh, but he was short of the first down. What's he gonna do here on fourth and short? He's gonna go for it. That was a dot, he motioned out the corner route. I like the throw, just the pass lead maybe, I don't know if he had the utmost confidence. His receiver ended up not getting all the necessary yards. Let's see if he, th this will be a big tell, Rico. If you, do you feel confident running it on fourth and two? He's gonna, uh, it's gonna cause True Boy to take a timeout. Do you feel confident enough to run it on fourth and two, even though the front's there? The way True Boy is getting pressure here, I would not feel comfortable. You're definitely gonna have to take it to the air here. T tip your hat to True Boy for saying, I realize how big this stop can be and calling the timeout to make sure he's in the right defense to try to get this stop. 
scramble, picks it up. Had a couple routes, decided just to take it with the quarterback. I really like that halfback route out of the backfield. You're right with True Boy taking that timeout. Those first half timeouts, Rico, they often go unused. I've tried to redeem them here at the buffet. They were, I was denied. So you can't take them with you. Might as well use see, them. See, I just use my good looks, and that takes care of everything. I see, see how that works. All right, here we go, back under center. To give it. He looks to break a tackle, trying to get into the secondary, but oh, brought down after a game of three. And that battle-ready halfback, Rashad Jennings, that A button that pops up above his head, that, if you don't have battle ready, could be the Y button, could be the X button, could be the V button. But when you're guaranteed that it's the A button with Jennings, so you're ready just to hit it. And that is why he breaks so many tackles with uh, this back, and that's why he's a really good value as a battle ready player. These players go deep into ultimate team. The game's constantly being updated, uh, Rico. So many items, so many players. How do you pick so many versions of players, so many chemistries? And be, that, you know, these guys are science. That's the beautiful part of this. You're allowed to construct your team in the way you want. You have complete control, and that's what allows everybody to be themselves. That's why people love this salary cap mode, Rico. All right, here we go. Oh, another time out there. That's Stevie J taking one. Thought better of whatever play he was in. Decided to go back, third and one, take a pause. Take a deep breath. He knows he's in field goal range, can't take a sack. Doesn't look like True Boy's bringing as much gas this play, but we'll have to see after the snap. Oh, nope, he is. He's stacking it. Stacking it late. Third and one, he picked everything up. Oh, and that was huge. Not only was that a great play, he got six out of it. He's shaking his head. That would even surprise him. Well, you know what we call that route, Rico? Let's hear it. We call it the backbreaker because you know why? Stevie picked up the pressure. Most people throw a hot one to the drag across the middle. What did True Boy do? He took away the drag across the middle. What did Stevie do? Threw it. Didn't really look like it was going to be open, did it? Ed McCaffrey, click on, backbreaker. Because you have everything else covered on the play, it gets open late, it develops, you click on, you got a big stud like McCaffrey, aggressive catch kind of like gets, you know, gets to the spot of the football where you throw it. Great play from Stevie J, the backbreaker route. True Boy shaking his head after that one. And here's the thing, not only was that a great route, that was a great drive. Stevie J was in complete control here, and now, the pressure's on True Boy a little bit. He has to answer right here. Got to answer, and he's going to have to do it with that halfback, Marcus Allen. Because he spent so much cap at that position on that line, he's got to show he can control the game with the ground and falls forward. Marcus Allen, to me, is the probably the best halfback in Ultimate Team. I know we had a, a new Chris Johnson come out uh, yesterday in the combine program based off of his electric 40 time. Uh, but in this event, aside from possibly Marshawn Lynch, more of a truck style back, I think Marcus Allen is one of the best. But Larry, uh, Rico, today, it has not looked like Marcus Allen is the best halfback in the game. That's a credit to a lot of these guys' run defense. Absolutely. True Boy's gonna need to prove it though. He's gonna have to prove it, he's gonna have to prove it in a big way. Here we go, this is a big fourth down right here. He needs to pick this up. Takes it to the quarter, smart move, come back out, try again. He's got to play for this. Notice, he's not rattled. After being at the Classic, after being at the Bowl, he's been here before. He's seen these. He's not phased by this fourth and one. Not at all. Looks like he's going to go to the air in this situation, Rico. He's going to need to make sure he's able to pick up all those blitzes. And so, so that's the difference, right? We talk about the backbreaker route. The short drag got covered because that's where people think you want to go. That was not the deep post route. That was just a regular post. So the pass lead's not the same. He waited too long to throw it. Couldn't scramble with the quarterback. Good defense from I'm Stevie J. Jennings up the middle, takes it back through. We kick off here in the second. Uh, quarter, you've got Rage in the finals already. If you're just tuning in, the youngster, Rage like a boss, took down Stiffmeister in overtime and in his opening game. Then he defeated Miami Man in his second one. True Boy got here over Ocean. Stevie J taking down Killicam. 
in his first match now playing True Boy with the ball, with the lead, with the playmaker, rolling out, throwing dots. Jerry Rice fighting to get down to the two-yard line. Stevie J looking good right now. This is the most comfortable I've seen anybody on the offensive side of the ball playing against True Boy. Even when he played serious Mo, Mo didn't look this comfortable. Stevie J is really in his element and is in the zone right now. Yeah, it took some time for Mo to come back in that game. Ultimately got it done in a close battle against True Boy, but Stevie J is making it look easy. He's doing it on the ground. Really, to me, the difference so far is Aaron Rodgers' legs have made it difficult. Also, uh, Stevie J knowing how to pick up pressure is critical. He's critical kept that blitz way. off of him completely. He's had time there to go through multiple reads. Yeah, and you know, we sat with, with Stevie at dinner last night, and he said, I said, Steve, if you're going to win this tournament, why will it be you? And he said that all I have to do is execute. He didn't give me an answer like, I'm the best, I'm, I'm this, I'm that. He just said, I just need to execute. I'm here for a reason. I consider myself one of the better players in this community. I put in the work, and I just need to play my game now that I'm here. I can't go back and change my lineup. I can't go back and, and lab a different playbook. I need to execute the plays that I brought to this event and how I feel confident, you know, that I'm going to perform and potentially win. And like right now, he's up 14 on the number one seed, True Boy. All right, if there was ever a time Ooh, True Boy needed to make a big play, oh, he got a little bit lucky right there. We said it's better to be lucky than good. Well, right there, he might have used up all his luck on that one. Yeah, that's, that's not a dot, but it, it's a good throw. It stretches the defense. And Mike Evans is a guy that you do want to target down that scene. You got to take your chances with him. Huge conversion to get him over midfield for True Boy. All right, first and 10, ball number 45. He drops back, here comes some pressure. Oh, he finds it, has a blocker. True Boy, he makes that first defender miss in the open field every time. You see that little stick right there? Absolutely. Really nice, he also had a lead blocker. That's a cool little play concept. Great short throw for a big game. That's how you do it. All right, sends a man in motion. True Boy looking to get on the board here as he's down 14 nothing. Oh, he has a blocker. He picks it up, and just like that, we have a ball game. Just like the Jaguars have two pulls, he had two blockers. He had three blockers. He had so many blockers. He had a convoy running down the middle of the field. He spent so much of his cap on getting those five elite linemen, and right there, they escorted. They're like, hey, Marcus Allen, I know your legs might be tired after the first game. Could we carry you into the end zone in a chariot? Like, what great running from True Boy. Absolutely flawless. Now it looks like True Boy's got himself together on one side of the ball. Can he get a stop here and even slow Stevie J down? He can and he will and how he'll have to do it Rico is by containing Aaron Rodgers. He's starting to slow down the run a little bit. He's starting to slow down some of Stevie's easier reads. He's just got to because he knows that pressure now is Stevie's aware of how to pick it up. So he's either got to adjust to that or just not let Aaron Rodgers get out to the other side of the pocket and he'll be okay. All right, a broken tackle. Oh, and he brings him back down so he doesn't pick up too much there. Gain of four. If you're true boy, you've seen you sent the blitz. It hasn't worked. You know that Stevie J has some passes, but he's been establishing the run here. Do you go just coverage and try to make him beat you somewhere? It's, the thing about coverage is tough is you don't have the block sheds to get coverage in. So normally in coverage, what people do is they have Khalil Mack, Reggie White, Too Tall Jones. Some guys that, even though they're only rushing three, can get block sheds. He doesn't have those guys that can get him block sheds without sending pressure. So his coverage defense is going to give Stevie a lot of time. And we've already seen Stevie playmaker. We've seen Stevie run out of the pocket. And so that's why it's probably not going to work. When you have blitzes like that, dude, when you got screamers, cheddar cheese off the left side, why would you not send the gas and then just adapt as it goes on? Well, speaking of adapting, Stevie J's going to have to adapt right here because it's fourth and six. If he gets stopped here, two boys right back in this game. This is a huge play for True Boy to get momentum back. All 
right? And this Fox. is great defense. Ew. That's not the read. He's not happy with himself. Everything was, nothing was open, Rico. When you're in that situation, you're standing back there. You know it's fourth down. You can't throw the ball away, and you got to just chuck it. You're fortunate it wasn't a pick, but that is critical for True Boy to take over with two minutes to go. Now only down seven with the ball. He's already in field goal range. Don't call it a comeback. True Boy's been great for years. He gives the ball up the middle and picks up a short gain of two. Yeah, and Marcus Allen's starting to get it going now. I was I was riding him a little bit earlier because I expect big things out of him. I had him in draft champions, and I think he is top tier. You just got to keep pushing up the middle. In, it, in the positive for True Boy is if he continues to run the ball in this situation, clock keeps going. Stevie doesn't get it back. Halftime. Tie game. That's the exact situation you want to be in, Rico, because in Madden, it's not if he can score. It's with how much time left can you score. Absolutely. It's all about clock management here. And with the two-minute warning ball on the 27-yard line, it looks like True Boy is going to do his best to do both. Uh-oh. Turns back. He was trying to make a miss. Do you think he faked himself out that time? He likes that little route to fit, but when he catches it, he's got no momentum, so he, it's hard to pick up run after catch. But, he, I mean, he's good. He's doing something. It's just I haven't really seen it. I don't. He likes it for the playmaker? I'm not sure. Third and six here. You want to make sure that you pick up this first down. You don't want to have to make a decision about taking three. Oh, my gosh. Way to hold on to that ball. Yeah, love that in route from Fitz. Nice short route. He's used that to convert and move the chains all day long. It's a tough route to take away. It's delayed across the middle. All right, first and ten. Oh, he picks up that block, gets that first down, but he winds up on the five-yard line, and you know that is spelled doomsday for Madden players all the day long. It's tough, and Stevie takes a timeout. So minute 15 to go. Let's see if he tries to get the clock going or if he just goes straight to a you know, high point pass to one of his big guys like Mike Evans. All right, first and goal from the five is second and goal from the four. There's a difference between having run D and run committing. Yeah, run committing, you know, I always say this. If you make a player call like engage eight against you, then you know that play. That play's been in man for how many years, Rico? Every year. <laughs> that's, that's the favorite play of little brothers all across America. Engage eight. If you call some, uh, you know, he's not doing that, but run commit can be somewhat similar, right? Like we saw Duke run commit against problem in overtime. It's it's when you've had enough of the run game, then you, you get a little drastic. I don't think he's going there yet, but he's got to slow him down. He's done it so far, but now the clock's ticking. And I look to see Mike Evans in the back left corner of the end zone on high point. All right, this is a big play here because it's third and goal. You don't have to make the decision between points and an incompletion. Shotgun set. True Boy looking to tie this game up. Sticks Another with the run. Oh. <laughs> and that's, that's frustrating because he thought he could have – I think he caught him off guard. He caught me off guard with the ground game. I like the motion. I like that he has – Great pa uh, run blocking up front. He's, but this isn't the worst thing to happen because you're ending the half with three. You're only down 14-10. You trailed at the half of the first game, and you fought back in the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter is your time. These games and adjustments add up over time. That's what it takes, Rico. That's why you see the best players consistently win in the fourth quarter, and that's what these guys plan on doing today. All right here. We have seven seconds left in the first half. Stevie J shocking the world right now, up 14 to 10. But is it truly a shocker? Because obviously he's one of the eight best players because he made it here. But taking out the number one seed and dominating the first half like this? I mean, this guy plays with the best, Rico. He wanted to shout out some of his lab mates, guys like Jeter, guys like Lockdown, guys like T. Davis, guys like Hefe, guys that he plays with. You know, he's got his friends. He's got his roommates watching right now. You got to be proud of this kid. But the mission isn't over. You know, he came, he drove up from Orlando to Jacksonville on a mission. He wants to represent the Jaguars in the club series finals on April 15th. That's where he wants to be. That's his next goal. His goal wasn't to win the first half against True Boy. Very true. Very true. Well, I think after winning the first half, if he can win the second half as well, he's going to be taking on rage like a boss. So, here we go. Uh-oh. 
a little bit of a different formation here. Looking to do something. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's continually using this formation for True Boy on offense. Let's see if he can find a way to get some big time dots and routes downfield. Overthrow from his quarterback. Don't know if that was the read. Russell Wilson, to me, that's his one weakness. His throw power is a little bit lower than I like to see at this point in the season. And then his deep accuracy leaves a little bit to be desired. He does have tremendous speed and agility. But that's the one uh, thing that I would notice and note on the Russell Wilson. That's the one reason you may not see him across the board. Now you've noticed in the second half, True Boy has come out just airing it out. He's gotten away from that run. Do you think that's because he's been kind of stifled a little bit? Or is he just trying to catch Stevie J off guard? There's a, uh, something frustrating that happens when you feel like you're running against the appropriate defense and you're not getting like six, you're getting like two. That you got to stick with it. Sometimes it can turn you away from, from uh, the, the run game, but you got to hang tough with the ground game. Wide open flat. Marcus Allen in space. Truck makes a man miss. And that's why you get a Marcus Allen out to the flat. That's a simple throw. That's just as good as a run because what does it do? It gets True Boy, the very talented uh, youngster from California, in the open field with the left stick, looking good. All right, True Boy starting to make his way down the field in this second half. He trails 14 to 10 with three minutes and 57 seconds remaining. He has a bad, oh. What's, I mean, what's bigger than a hole? A huge hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> that. Like, like that, that's what he expects to get for blocking almost every snap because of the investment he made on the line and the salary cap. But it, it's been few and far between. But when you get runs like that, it's like, why would you ever stop running the ball? And I don't think he's going to right here. He's got another great block and picks up another first down and a few more just for good luck. Yeah, Marcus Allen, uh, he is starting to get a little bit fatigued. That's one of the things you got to keep your eye on in salary cap is are my players starting to fatigue on that play call menu is a good spot where you can locate and see just how uh, much stamina they have. All right, he's approaching that Madden red zone. He's going to need to see God. if he can get... Oh, wow. He said, I'm not even going to wait to get down there. I need to hurry up and score here right here, right now. He got it done. So, Rico, how that works is what makes the red zone scoring so tough is because the end zone comes into play and you don't have to guard deep downfield, everything gets smushed down and you can't stretch the field vertically. So rather than him to wait to get down the field... He took advantage of still having a little bit of vertical room left. I think Stevie thought, ah, I, I kind of got the back of the end zone there. He threw a high point pass, LB on Xbox, to Cumberland. Great size. Not the highest rated tight end, but good size. And you know what? Cumberland hung on to one for True Boy. And that is why he's got him in that position. He threw one of those in the first game. He went back to it. Russell Wilson cashing in. For True Boy, takes the lead back 17-14. This is the first time Stevie J is facing adversity. Is he going to be able to bounce back? Or is this where that big stage gets to him a little bit? Let's see. He's got to continue to pick up that pressure. Got to continue to stay on the ground. True Boy looking to send it. We know it. Stevie knows it. America knows it. Stevie J's offensive coordinator has put together a phenomenal day today. It seems like everything he's calling is perfect. Sometimes you just... You know, that's the thing when you're when you're the number one seed. I don't believe the number one seed yet has even won a club series event. Rico, Minnesota, not did not uh, have a number one seed. Uh oh, Jennings wide open lane. And True Boy got lucky there. That should have been house music all day, but he was able to get that tackle, saved himself, and he really needs to only give up three here because if he gives up a touchdown. It's going to be tough. Yeah, this is one of those matches that just goes back and forth. This is a 12-round bout, and whoever makes the big play or gets the ball last is going to be the one who goes to the finals to face Rage like a boss. All right, so this is chess, not checkers. With you having the ball here, let's say you're Stevie J. There's two minutes left to go in that third quarter. Are you looking to try to score quickly so you can have the ball last, or are you trying to take as much time as you can on this drive. I don't think he's thinking about the clock situation yet. I mean, he, he's definitely going at a slower pace because that's kind of the style that's working for him so far with the ground game. He's not going to rush, 
but I don't think he thinks I can. this can be my final drive. He's getting down into the red zone. He's got a third and two. This is a crucial play. Can't take a sack, but he's right on the brink of field goal range. This is tight. This is a tight window, Rico. All right, shotgun trips to the left. Didn't like what he saw, calling a little bit of an audible here. Still in the shotgun set, running back offset to the right. He's got to feel good because he has Justin Tucker as his kicker who can definitely make it from this range. And that is oh. how True Boy gets it done. The level of stick work to shoot through the gap, manually hit stick, force a fumble. You put the game in your hands in the biggest moment. You get aggressive. You say enough is enough, the user through, that takes so much skill and talent, and that's the reason you're the number one seed at this event. Absolutely, and the recover. Man, now True Boy needs to just make sure he gets some points here, uses the clock to the best of his ability, and you can't give the ball back. Yeah, Larry did not get his feet in. Are you shocked to see him go to the pass game Absolutely. after the turnover? You think he was like taking a shot there, or you, you would have thought he would have just came right back and established the run and showed that he's not phased at all by what is going on. But instead, now he has to make a decision on third down. Got to make that choice. Shot Jennings. Oh man, what a play in the third quarter from True Boy. He stood up all day in the second half in his first game. He came back in the fourth quarter against Trey from the Ocean Gang. And now, he's got a third and eight as the clock tick, ticks down with a three-point lead. All right, he was able uh -oh, to get that uh -oh, slam. Uh-oh, ball uh -oh. is out. Ball is out! No way that just happened. Wow. Not only... <laughs> it's a fourth and inches, though. I thought he fumbled for the first down. I thought he did as well. It's on the line. It's a fourth and inches. We're going to have probably... Let's see if it's going to be a sneak situation. The fact that he recovered the ball, he doesn't matter if it's fourth and inches or fourth and whatever. As long as he didn't turn that ball over right there, True Boy is the happiest person. In When's the last right time now. you had a pig pile? Ooh. It's been a while. It's been a while. All right. Uh oh. Scream. He gives it off. Got him locked up. Rico, you know what they say? The ball don't lie. Ball don't lie. Ball, don't lie. He gets it back, locked up after the fumble. 17-14, Stevie J back on offense. That call there, he's been taking that play and shooting the backfield every time he's been against him. I'm shocked that he ran that there with the opportunity to have it happen to him. Yeah, I mean, these guys respect each other's sneak defense clearly if that's what, you know where you go on that run. When you hand it off at that far back, you open yourself up to, you know, it's like a toss when it works is amazing because it's like, wow, he just walked in. But if you call a toss and you lose three yards on third and one, you're like, why would you toss it? Just run it up, you know. So chestnut checkers, uh, these guys are playing at an extremely high level and great defense there for I'm Stevie J. It's very rare you get a oh, second oh, bite of the oh. apple, but Stevie J has, and he is making the most of it. He's run for a first down and a few more. Sometimes Madden's easy, sometimes Madden's hard. It goes back and forth. Hard for Stevie J earlier, didn't get that fumble. Now it's looking easy for him as Rashad Jennings is getting those tackle battle A buttons that we uh, talked about earlier, and he's really working it. All right, Stevie J with the give, takes it up the middle for a gain of a few. And we're looking at a fourth quarter Barn burner right here between the True Boy and Stevie J. Mistake from make from mistake from Stevie. I think he had the outside edge. He cut it back in the middle. I thought he, if he got to the edge there, the block got picked up. He might have had some daylight. Still good, but I think he I think he went back up. All right, 17-14, trailing by three in field goal range already. Uh -oh. There's he it finds is. it up the middle. He's looking to try to. Uh oh, that was a big tackle right there. That could be the difference between three and seven. You saw it in the Super Bowl. Dante Hightower tackled Marshawn Lynch at like the four. It's the most unheralded play that got the Seahawks to the goal line. That tackle right there could be similar. True Boy's got to stand up. Three-point lead right now, but Stevie J threatening in the red zone. All right, he drops back. I'm shocked oh. that he threw the ball there. Now, I like that call, high point pass. You target Jerry Rice, you target the GOAT, but that was a serious hit uh, that, that knocked that ball out. 
you expect that to happen if you're true boy. You got to watch that temperature on the end zone for the pick. You do not want to come away here with no points. I mean, let's channel our inner Ron Burgundy right now, Rico. Third and goal. Um, Stevie J? What would you do if you were Stevie J? Right here, I think I'm going to have to go with a, a run. I can't take the chance of putting this in the air and something bad happening. Uh-oh. And here's where I tell you he got lucky. That was supposed to be a pick. That was supposed to be the something bad that happened. He's going to take his three here and love it. I will say that is almost always a slot in Madden 17 because the, the guy's not – because he can't get there, so they, they tend to go for the slot. So <sighs> tie game. 3.15 to go. True Boy's going to take over on offense. He probably spent 1,700 of his 850 cap points on offense. And now it's time for him to get seven. It's time for him to have a three-minute, either a three-minute three-point drive or like a two-minute, 30-second, seven-point drive. And he definitely is going to need it. I'm shocked that he dropped back. Wow. <sighs> The fact that True Boy has gone to the air speaks volumes to the defense that Stevie J has played. Normally, True Boy would be running this ball up and down the field, trying to make this the last drive of the game. But if he wants to move the ball, he's had to take it to the air. Yeah, that hitch working really well for him, but he needs more. Good lurk, good user. Nothing open. Uh oh, bad throw, Russell Wilson. Lucky. That route was covered. Actually, might have been a good throw by Russell Wilson to throw it out there. Yeah. Because if he'd have thrown that to the receiver, that could have and would have probably been a pick. Yeah, he was he was rolling away, and so I think he tried to overpass lead it. That can lead to some, some bad passes, but it's a good place to have a bad pass go. Third and four. There's still two minutes and 45 seconds. This isn't the true boy I know. Four down territory, Rico. Ah. That was a great route, a great pass, a great catch, and I have to tip my hat, a great call. Great call, great patience, good job. Dallas Clark, one of the best to ever do it. Toe taps, holds that possession catch, Rico, moves the change, and, and now, because he moved the chains, he's going to start to think, tick, tock, ran the ball there, got it moving. Let's see. Milk does an offense good. Here we go. He drops back. Now, that's where his stick work is coming on both sides of the ball and on the offense, running and passing. That was a risky play, but he clicked on, made a play. Woo. It's like Madden 10 out here. Dude's got rockets. Like yeah. He's curling around <laughs> like post corners. Like, yeah. What a way for him to click onto his receiver, turn him around, face the ball, go up, high point. Awesome stick work from True Boy. He looks like he's out of another era. He's old school. That he is. And right now we're under the two-minute warning. The question is, if you're Stevie J, when do you start thinking about taking a timeout? You got to take him right now. First down, this game's pretty much over. Uh, one or two first down. So you're, you're almost at mission critical. You're going to start to get a little bit more aggressive. Touchdown, at least you get the ball back. That's kind of maybe what you're thinking. Good lurks, though. Good lurks across the middle. Forced him to throw it away. Oh, wow. He broke late. That's oh, such that's... good patience. And now he lays down. Did you see that, Rico? That is th – that's the reason why he's here. And the thing is, you got to love about True Boy, I don't know if he would have made that same play at the Classic. But after the Classic and the Madden Bowl and everything, you see that he's calm, cool, collected understands what's going on, was able to see that play all the way out through to the end. Yeah, he had, you know, and Stevie did a good job. He tracked one defender over there, and then the other route broke off. He went with that, and then the other route broke off field. That was just awesome patience. And now he gets to the edge with Marcus Allen. The vision is real. True boy goes in the end zone, takes a seven-point lead against Stevie. Wanted to lay down right there to not score and possibly just run the clock out. Maybe a slight miscalculation. We've seen him do it once before. Stevie trying to block this extra point, keep it at six. 
Already blocked one today, Rico. All right, we're going to see if he can time this. Nope. No dice. 24-17, minute 39. You asked these guys last night, Rico. Where would you rather be? <laughs> and, and they most of them said on defense. Well, we're going to get a chance to see. Stevie was the only other person that said he wanted to be on O because he was scoring. So if Stevie was to turn to the cameraman and hold a two up in the camera and make and, and, and execute, I would call Rage Rage the rest in the finals, and then I would call him Stevie like a boss for the rest of his life. Gotcha. And we're going for two. That's the question that you wonder. Do these Madden players have a two-point play? Well, first, we need to find out if he has a six-point play against his true boy defense. He needs it. Pressure left. Oh, he didn't pick up that block. Oh, he broke that tackle. That's a hot one. Dallas Clark across the middle. Good work. Aaron Rodgers just five for 12. It's been a combination of the ground game slow treading and plays with Aaron Rodgers' legs and a, and a couple big chunks on some broken plays, but not really a consistent accuracy, and that's a credit to True Boy's defense as he lurks in the middle, right over the center. Look at him moving around right there. That's a lot of time for six yards. Got a dot. Jerry Rice hangs on. And did he get out of bounds? Oh, man, what a throw. Minute four left. Stone cold look from Stevie J. Got the haircut working. Got the stick work working. Okay, here it goes. True Boy needs to make a play, and he needs to make one now. Way to get rid of that ball, Stevie J. True Boy was sending him. That's a that's a real haircut. That's a natural. It's all natural. It's all He's natural. He's having a phenomenal haircut. It's yeah. Hey, hey, one thing I've always told everybody: win if you can. Lose if you must, but always look great for the camera. Absolutely. A great job to throw it away here. Needs to find a way to pick that up on second and ten. Oh, he's got a. That's a dot to Jerry who hangs on. And, 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 and a lot of guys would drop that. And I know he took a step or two. But in this year's game, if you rack that, you can risk a drop. Not the GOAT, not Jerry Rice. But where is he, Rico? He's got no timeouts left. He's All in right. that dangerous red seconds. zone. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, ooh. he breaks it. He uh oh, ball? Oh, I the ball? No, he was fighting for yards. But that five yard line is, has been the threshold. And People have been able to get there. And True Boy took a timeout right there. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. Very interesting dynamic. But you'd rather give the defense you want. Oh. Oh. Fat. Hold it up. Hold it up, Stevie, like a boss. All right, he's at the one. He's at the one. He did not get in. First and goal. First and goal, Rico. Stevie J trailing. Do you like the time out there again by True Boy? <sighs> I'll tell you in a second. He's got sneak D. He, he's got sneak D out of this. He doesn't have dive D. Doesn't have pullback. All, right, all right, here it goes. Here it goes. Hold it up. Hold it up, Stevie. Hold it up. Hold it up. Fake it. Fake it, Stevie. Stevie like a boss. Okay, is it going to be blocked? Is it going to be a fake? No, nope. no block, no block. Tie ball game here in the semifinals at the Jaguars Championship. Stevie J comes down the field, responds after True Boy scored to take a seven-point lead. No timeouts, made it look easy. Dots, kids' offense looks like the ice cream of the future. Dots all over the place. Carved him up. 28 seconds, though, and that's why True Boy took those timeouts. He was already conceding the touchdown. If he wouldn't have took those timeouts with no timeouts left, he would have had to run one more play, take your chances, and that's it. I don't know that I call that timeout there. Yeah, I, I love the way Belichick handled the Seattle situation. He kind of played chicken. It's like, why isn't he taking timeouts? He played chicken, and it ended up working out in his favor. True Boy taking the timeouts. 28 seconds, you can get a field goal. You can get a field goal. He's going to need a big play, uh -oh. and he might have it right here. Oh, it's Russell Wilson. <laughs> Overthrow there, Rico. Stevie was ready for that one. Second and ten, one timeout. He's going to try and save that timeout as long as he can, so if he gets uh, a deep throw down the field, he can take a timeout and then kick. Now, he probably only has one more play if he throws an incomplete pass here. Yeah, that's a screamer. You're going to have to run the ball here. So that Stevie can't get a punt? So Stevie can't get anything. Depending on what happens right here, you're in field goal range. He also has one of the lowest rated kickers in the event in Dan Carpenter at 11 cap. 
for 79. 79 overall. Now to Justin Tucker. That's a good route. Oh, Amazing. wow. But he didn't get out of bounds. I think he wanted to get out of bounds. He had to aggressive it, though, to make sure it was a throw. Has to use the last time out, and now it will require him to get out. Dan Carp going to need to get about to 35. You know, really, really have a shot. 52. Maybe 5 on the day. And he needs a chunk and that bounce is going to quick throw beat. That would be insane. Out and back. We are going to OT here in the second semifinal. Rage is just sitting over there, walking over. I think he might try and come over and intimidate these guys. He's watching on different TV. All the guys are huddled up watching. Enjoying this one. This is our second overtime game, but they rage around stiff. And now, either TV or Troy will be looking at the Rage Finals, and it's stupid that gets all on offense. Now, you got to be thinking seven here. You got to be thinking seven by any means necessary, and you got to start out by running the ball. You can't go to the air right now. Why not? Can't allow for mistakes right now. Stevie J has you're, the you're momentum on his side. You're true boy. You're true boy. And that's why you stick to what got you here. You run the ball. You got Marcus Allen in this line for a reason. Do not get away from it. You break your run like you're supposed to. Just don't run into the middle of all that congestion. He's got 19 for 102, four yards a whack, but it's really been like one yard, one yard. 10 yards, 1 yard, 1 yard, 10. You know what I mean? It's been more of that than consistency, right? But my thing is, don't get away from it then. Let's go. He can still get it done here. Larry Fitz on the corner. We'll see if he goes there. Maybe Cumberland Farms in the seam. High point. I don't want to make my living on that. Uh-oh. Ooh, wow. That was great. That's so good. And then the stick work is so good for True Boy. The playmaker delayed across the middle. Did you see that sigh of relief True Boy had right there? He knew that was a tough play. He picked up that blocker, bought him a little bit of extra time, clicked on, made the catch, got the first down. Now he's looking to get back to that run. Evans is approaching 100 yards and most of it after the catch. Marcus Allen, there another, you take it. Another four. You got to keep going. Right, and remember in overtime, field goal, Stevie J would get a drive to answer either with a field goal or to win it with a touchdown. True boy, if he scores a touchdown, the game is over. Field goal extends it or nothing extends it. Oh, he is so lucky he got that ball off. I think he was going across. I mean, did he have a route or... Here's where I tell you, I don't even know, just because that heat came in so quick off that edge, I was just watching that quarterback hoping he was going to be able to get that ball off in time. Third and six here. He shouldn't have gotten away from the run. Pressure. Delayed. Scooped up. Marcus oh, Allen runs away from it. And that, Rico, we talked about it. We saw one guy run away from a lower-rated defender. Then we saw a high-rated defender tackle a guy trying to run away. Right there, we saw Marcus Allen get two and a half extra yards because of that speed, that elusiveness. Couldn't be tracked down. Got the first down. True Boy extends the drive here. Russell Wilson goes deep. And Mike Evans gets the best possible catch because when you lay out like that, you can't really, it's really hard to get hit when you're diving like that. Now here's something you need to look for. Remember, True Boy does not want to get stuck with that red zone offense. He might have that scene going up top just to make sure this one's a wrap. Let's see. Deed up, deed up. Yeah, you saw him strike from this position on the field once before with Cumberland on a streak. Stevie's been beat there a couple times. Uh, he's running the 46 normal on defense. Got to make sure he either mans that route up or just doesn't get beat over the top. But it's it's a good matchup if, to, to throw to Cumberland because he's not that highly rated. He could potentially make a play. He's going to motion him across, though, here. This is the play he liked earlier. Delayed. Great user post. Toe tap game over. Dallas Clark toe taps at the sideline. And True Boy. So tell True Boy he can breathe there. In overtime with the victory, 30 to 24 on top of Stevie, Stevie J.
What a battle between these two young competitors. Wow. Respect from each. True Boy looking impressive in the fourth quarter and on clutch drives and situations. Awesome stuff right there. A near flawless game from both competitors. Ab absolutely. Think about how far True Boy has come. He was one of the younger players, the up and coming. Now, as he gets to the finals of the club series, he's facing somebody even younger than him who's coming up trying to take his spot. Yeah. I mean, and speaking of how far he's come, he came all the way from California to represent the Jaguars in this club series. And what a great job he's done so far today. He's done a phenomenal job, and so is Spence, who's down with him right now for the interview. All right, I'm here with True Boy. Another tight game. Man. What was your mind the entire game? So close. Uh, I felt confident, even though, like, you know, it was just, it was a hell game. I mean, he played good on D, on all, we both played pretty good. I mean, I got a few breaks on that last drive, you know. I got a bad animation on that uh, one corner out, but, uh, man, I'm just <laughs> glad I got, I'm just glad I won, honestly. Like, just can't wait to uh, play Rage. Well, you had a long break from your first match. You actually watched CVJ play Kill a Cam in his win. Do you pick up anything in that matchup while you're watching? Um, I can't really remember much because it was such a like long window, but uh, I think he, I don't know, I can't remember. It was a lot of like bunch, or not bunch, uh, gun doubles week for Rage, so uh, I think I'm ready for it. All right, yeah, so you mentioned Rage. Everyone's been coming for number one spot with you. You think you got the right mindset to get it, take on Rage, the upstart? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm not playing my best right now, but the fact that I'm like in the finals is pretty cool, so uh, I'm going to play my best. All right, thank you there. All right, Rico, back to you. Yeah, and, and here.